What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Transformers Legacy Evolution Dinobot Slug. That's right, this is not the slug I was talking about in a sludge review. <laughs> this is a brand new figure, and it's a tiny one. It is a Cork class Dinobot Slug, and it is two of six to form a Volcanicus. This is the first one we've uh, that's come out, though, so, you know, number two, though. What else? Uh, yeah, we got all new Transformers come out, coming out here for 2023 and Legacy Evolution, the second wave here. Look at that, we're gonna be getting some of these for sure. Oh, yeah, I cannot wait. Cannot wait here, guys. But these guys, these little guys are gonna form Volcanicus. We've reviewed the Volcanicus that they did last time. Uh, and all of those, uh, but those were bigger. This is going to be small, and I can't wait to see how it looks. I hope it's cool because I feel like it's going to be a really good size. And there's some nice art here. I do like the art. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get to the review. Say hello to my little friend, because he is a rather cool, he uh, is, I mean, he's, you know, not that much paint on him or anything like that, but he gets the job done as a small, a little a slug. Uh, the head sculpt actually is pretty good, just done in red with metallic blue eyes, but I like it. You know, then back here, you got Tricera head. The chest uh, is not much to look at at all. The red parts are good. Uh, this middle part is not. Um, the Crescizi section is okay. The legs, you know, they have okay mold of detail. You got some gold at the tip of his toes. You got the uh, other legs there on the sides. Um, you know, mold of detail isn't bad. Totally hollow back here with some big ball joints. You got the little wingies over here. You know, but it's really not much to look at in this mode. He has a... He's got little fists in black. Those are okay. And he's got a uh, sort of gun here. Some sort of blaster in gold. Which makes up his tail. It also has Volcanicus's head back there. Um, and we will give you a preview of that right now. If I could turn it correctly. It's very tight. It is very, very tight. It feels like it's going to scratch up the paint. Um, but there it is. Volcanic is his head. And that looks pretty good. We will look at it more. I'm not going to get into like uh, the modes of the limbs in this video. That will be for a Volcanicus video at the very end. But I did want to preview it by showing you this head. And for articulation, I'm sh the, the whole head moves here. I thought like maybe the little head might move, but that's like attached. So the whole head moves. The arms are on ratchet joints and they go back and forth and stuff and all that. That's the only articulation you get in there. Ball joints at the hips You for this full split and kicks forward and the kicks up back. Swivel at the knee and a big ball joint, which allows for some good movement. And that's it. That's all the articulation in this mode. Real quick before I bring in other folks for a size comparison, uh, I did have to like lean him a little forward on the knee joints to get him to stand correctly. He doesn't have any thing on the back to hold him down. I guess you could put these down. Maybe maybe that's how they go, and that that helps. Uh, I don't really like that look too much, but you can do so. And for your size comparison in robot mode, here is Slug with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. So with that all said, all that's left to do is to transform and stomp out. And here's a little slug in his dino mode, and I actually really like him. 
So, you know, if you didn't notice, we flipped these around, which was a cool little thing on the ratchet joints. And, you know, they still, you know, going forward and back, it's not ratcheted, but outwards now it is ratcheted. And the little legs look good. You can open his mouth and move his head up and down and, you know, move the top part around a little bit. So a little bit of movement there. The legs on the back do move now. The tail... <laughs> Technically, you can rotate it a bit, um, but then you're going to end up probably popping it out. So, in this mode, you get all of this back stuff, which looks good. I really like it. There's something very, you know, like, Baragon-ish about this. And I do like the gold there. The gold tail now looks pretty good. It's just black on the bottom. This is what the bottom looks like. You no need to look at it on the bottom. It's just a little core class figure. And the head sculpt is great. I love it. Look at that. The gold head looks amazing. The Autobot symbol looks good. The eyes in metallic blue look great. His little horn. These horns here. You know, it's just that gray plastic, whatever. There's no, uh, like, silver paint on this. You all, again, really gold paint, red. And then the uh, Autobot symbol and the blue eyes. But I like it. I do. I, I mean, I have nothing bad here to say. Uh, it's just a cool a little a dino mode. And for your size comparison, in this mode, here are the two Studio Series Dinobots that I've reviewed. Yes, I, I, I have the actual slug, but he's not opened. Uh, he's never been opened uh, from all that time. Um, so he's not available for this review. Maybe in his review, we'll have this little guy in there. So stay tuned at some point. We'll get to it. But these guys even still look good. It's like the little baby. I like it. And my final thoughts on this core class slug. I like it. I like the little dino mode. I think it looks good. Uh, the robot mode's okay, but honestly, for this set, I'm really in it for Volcanicus. You know, because I don't really collect the core class figures that are not like like supposed to be small. Like I don't mind Rumble. I don't mind Wheelie Spike that we've done. Well, that we're gonna be doing half done. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't care for the rest of the Transformers in this size. I don't need them in this size. But I am curious about a Volcanicus in this size that it'll be because I think it'll go really well with some other figures and that'll be very interesting to see if it does. So I'm in, let's go, let's get some more. I know we got Sludge coming out. Sludge is actually number one. It was, you know, dropped at the same time as this. But this one actually shipped, the other one has not shipped. The, the dates are actually March for the rest of them. We'll see, this shipped early. I know some folks have like found others. We shall see how it goes. US distribution, am I right? And there you go guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe, until next time. Peace out, peeps.